Hi, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to edit and update using core data in Swift. So this is like a continuation from the previous video on how to pass data from the master view to the detail view. So to get to this stage you should go watch the video. So the first thing I'll just show you how it works. So for now when you click on the names here that accompanied name, address and number is displayed inside the detail view controller. So if I click on Harry from the master view, the detail is displayed here, Matthew, Matthew's detail, and Amy, Amy's detail. So what I'm going to show you today is when we click on these, as you can see, they're disabled input fields. When we click on edit, the input fields are now enabled. So if I was to change Amy's name to Sarah, for example, change this, to 76 Street, and instead of this number, I'll add 1111. So if I now click on update, I'm going to drag here. As you can see, Amy has now gone to Sarah, and her data is updated. So if I go to Matthew, for example, I'll just edit Matthew's number. Instead of 653, I'll add 222. Update. So now if I go to Harry, and I go back to Matthew, 222 is displayed. Similar, if I go to Harry, for example, I'm going to edit Harry and instead I'm going to have his name as David. And if I update, David is now displayed here instead of Harry. So this is what I'm going to be showing you today. So please tune in if you wish to see how this has been done. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with the base that we have from the previous video on how to pass data from a master view controller to the detail view controller. So what we have so far is when you click on these, the data displays here inside the detail view controller. So again, so Amy, Ali, and Harry. So now what we wanna do is we wanna be able to edit this data and update it. So the first thing we're going to do is first of all, as you can see, these input fields are editable. We don't want this to be so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our detail view controller. We're going to select the input field and we're going to un untick enabled. This will disable the input fields. So if I do this, so if I was now to save it and run it, you can see now that when I click it, when I click on them, they're no longer editable. <clears throat> okay, so the next step is we're going to drag two buttons. We're going to drag one button for edit. We're going to name this one. Oops. We're going to name this one edit. I'm going to name this one update. Like that. So now what I'm going to do now is going to add some constraints to them. Okay, just like that. So now we're going to go back to our detail view controller. I'm just going to go down here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag the edit button as an action. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split the screen. I'm just gonna go to storyboard. I'm just gonna do this, and the first thing I'm gonna drag is the edit button. I'm just gonna control drag. I'm gonna name this one edit button. I'm going to have it as an action. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it as a UI button and then connect. So now what I want us to do is when the user clicks on the edit button, these input fields will be enabled rather than disabled. So to do this, I'll do self dot the name of our, what we named them, so name display. Self dot 
name display dot enables equals true. So what this does it enables the input field. Again, similar for the other, so we do cell dot address display dot enabled equals true. And the last one is self dot number display dot enabled equals true. So now if we just save this and run it. So now for example if I click on this one and I click on it's now it's disabled, click on edit, the input fields are now enabled, you can like edit them. But now we would work out on if you edit them, we need to obviously update the data. So to do this, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna create an action for update. So I'm just gonna drag, control and drag update. I'm going to name it update button and I'm going to have it as an action and a UI button. I'm going to click connect. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to get the detail item which has the data being sent. So I'm going to do, let's do let detail equals self dot detail item. Now, I'm similar as my previous video, I'm going to create empty strings. So I'll do bar edit name and create an empty string bar edit address. I'm going to create an empty string and bar edit number. And again, I'm going to create an empty string. So now the next thing I'm going to assign them. So I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to do edit name equals and we named it name display name display dot text with an optional same thing edit address equals address display dot text and again, we do edit number equals number display dot text. Now we're going to grab the entity. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do, let's just close this. Oops, just like that. Again, this code is very similar to the one we did to insert the data from the previous video. So we're going to do let app delegate equals UI application dot shared application dot delegate as app delegate let manage context equals app delegate dot manage object context and then we do let fetch request equals ns fetch request and we're going to do the entity name and it is named person so as you can see here in our person entity, it's named person, and here are the attributes. Okay, so now we're going to do so do so let results equals try manage context dot execute fetch request and over here I'm going to put this let so fetch request just like that 
and now I'm going to get the name of our okay so we need to create an NS managed object so we're going to name it for let's name it let's name it person equals NS managed object So event request person equals oops results as NS managed object just like that and now I'm going to do just want to go down and I'm going to do let manage object equals detail either coming from the self dot detail item I'm going to do manage object so optional we're going to set the value so it's basically update the value so we're going to first do edit name for key and this one is going to be name Oops. So managed object dot set value Over here it's going to be edit address and here it's going to be address and we go again oops managed object dot set value edit number and in here it's going to be number. So now we're going to do try manage context dot save. Okay, and now after this, we're just going to go down here. We're going to catch. So we do catch. Let error as ns error. So I'm just going to do print again, so print could not fetch so error dot user info so I'll close it like that and then again I'm going to so dismiss just going to dismiss oops. the view controller just like that. So as you can see, we've grabbed the data and we're updating the data. So we're fetching whatever data is matched and then we are going to update the data. And so when the user clicks on update, it will just dismiss. So if we now <coughs> run it, well, first of all, before we run, we're going to open the simulator, go hardware home, and don't forget, always close the application or else it won't run so anytime you play about with the core data you should always close the application and run it again so now let's see if it works so, so for example if we add let's say my name again 
we will do 65 street and we'll put any number and then we'll add another one so let's do Amy again 54 street and any number and we'll click create so if you want to edit Amy for example so as you see it's disabled we click edit now it's enabled if you want to change Amy to Harry so a street will have it road we'll add two more digits and we'll click on update as you can see now we'll just go here Harry is now changed here if I go back the data is updated so it works so if I go back to Ada for example and I remove just to edit and I put these here more T's here and if I do update the name edits here so if I go back and forward you can see that the data is able to update so that's how you edit and update in Swift using for data again I'll just try another one so if I just do Tom Tom lives in 65th Street and his number is this so if we now click on Tom, and now let's give Tom a new person. So we'll have it as David. So David, he lives in 76th Street. And instead we'll have it as 1111. Click on update. You see here, now we have David. So that's how you edit and update in Core Data. So I really hope you liked the video. Again, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe for further videos. Any questions you might have, can, you can also ask them down below and I'll try to answer them. So thank you.